What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with an all-time favorite Pokemon. We got ourselves a Lucario team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Lucario, this Pokemon doesn't see the light too much, especially in Scarlet and Violet, but still, we're rocking out with it, pairing it up next to Shen Pao, and using the Choice Band item to make this thing do ridiculous amounts of damage. But let's talk about Lucario a little bit more. It's got the normal Terror type, rocking Inner Focus, which is a top tier ability within this game, alongside with the Choice Band as item, like we already mentioned. Pair up with that normal type, we got Extreme Speed, Meteor Mash, Close Combat, and Rock Slide for this thing's moveset. Like I said, we can pair it up next to Shen Pao, Thrash slides into normal, start sending E speeds, and the damage will just go up from there. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex with that Life Orb as its item. It's got As One, Astro Barrage, Nasty Plot, Draining Kiss, and Protect. Let's all be honest, we all know how the match usually ends once you set up a Nasty Plot with Calyrex. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Rillaboom, Shen Pao, Raging Bolt, and Tornadus. Nice, strong meta set right here. Rillaboom's going to be great for fake outs and terrain control. Raging Bolt's a great special attacker. Shen Pao, big time physical attacker. And Tornadus, there for weather control and speed control. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Lucario in ranked battles. This is kind of weird. We're going up against a Plusle team right here. I believe that's Plusle, could be mining, but Plusle in ranked regulation G with Coridon on top of uh, Screamtail. And then they got Walking Wake, Tornadus, and King Gambit. So, I mean, Tornadus is definitely going to be a good Pokemon for us because we need some weather control, especially with Coridon on the field. So I might just lead Tornadus here and look to get after it with Tornadus and maybe Calyrex. I feel like that's just a solid lead. Obviously, they could end up leading a uh, Pokemon like King Gambit, but at that point, we might just want to swap it to like Raging Bolt or something. I could go Lucario, I could go Shen Pao here for the lead. That's not bad either, but I just like Tornadus for the lead. I definitely like Tornadus. I mean, Tornadus in the back end could be pretty good as well. Do we think he leads Coridon? I don't think so. It could be Tornadus Coridon. We could see that. I gotta lead my Tornadus. We have to lead Tornadus. I'm gonna go Tornadus. I'm gonna go Calyrex here. I'm gonna bring Shen Pao, and on top of that, gonna go Lucario. That's the squad. That is the squad we're bringing. The one Pokemon we gotta uh, worry about is going to be King Gambit. I feel like King Gambit just has a lot of power, especially up against my Calyrex. I mean, I do have a nice little fighting move on my Lucario, so that could be good. And same thing with Shen Pao, Sacred Sword. Can do some big time damage into that Pokemon, especially because it is four times super effective. So let's just see who they end up leading, right? I'm kind of hoping it's Coridon, because if it is Coridon, we can just rain dance right off the rip, kind of neutralize a lot of its damage output, and have Calyrex eat the Nasty Pot and just start going from there. I like it. We'll just go for an Astro Barrage. I mean, Calyrex is big time damage, especially with a Life Orb as item, so that could be a hot start for us. But again, we got to see who they lead, and it is going to be da -da -da, walking away Coridon. That's not bad. I mean, setting the rain, pretty good for us. Um... They could end up hard swapping. We could go for a Tailwind instead. But I mean, just setting the rain is probably better for us to do, right? Unless this thing has booster energy. I don't believe it does. I do not believe you do. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight into a... I'm gonna go straight into a Rain Dance here. So I'm gonna Rain Dance up. I think just going straight for an Astro Barrage is definitely our play. Not wasting our Terror. Let's just straight up attack. Like to get off some nice damage here. They might end up swapping Coridon, which I wouldn't mind if you swap Coridon. I wouldn't mind. I like this damage here. I like getting off big time Astro Barrages, and this could be a hot start for us. Yeah, Tornadus, great call for us. I mean, you either get Speed Control or you take Weather Control. Either or is just really good for us. But they're gonna end up Terrasalize in turn one. Who are you gonna Terrasalize? Is this gonna be Coridon? It is gonna be Coridon. Going straight Fire Typing, probably. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind that, considering we're changing up weather. I think he thinks I'm going for Tailwind. We're just changing up weather. You can go for fire moves all day. I wouldn't mind you going for fire moves. Here's a rain dance. Weather gone. See you later, weather. Come on, rain. Let it rain on down here. Protosynthesis going to wear off. Astro Barrage is now going to fly. Stab, Life Orb. Let's get some damage going. That's some damage. That's some damage. We like that damage. We're going to lose a little bit of HP here. Flare Blitz going to fly here into Calyrex. Yeah. And Calyrex is going to be able to soak that no problem. Now, is Walking Wake going to double down into it? Most likely. It does not double down into it, which we, which we love. 
The Tornado survives another turn. I could set up a Tailwind for a squad, and I probably am just going to set up a Tailwind for a squad. Most likely, yeah. Tailwind. Let's go into an Astral Barrage here, and just look for a double KO. Pretty simple plays for my guy. Pretty simple plays for my Shadow Horse. So we'll set up 10-1 for the rest of the squad, just in case we die out here. You could swap Coridon here, but I mean, swapping Coridon right now is kind of tough, because then you just leave whatever Pokemon you're swapping in to take an Astral Barrage from Calyrex, which you really don't want that happening. Sometimes you're better off just sacrificing them, but sometimes you don't have first turn priority to really get rid of Calyrex, especially in a Tailwind. So if they don't really have any first turn priority, which I'm trying to think, you got Screamtail, Flussel... King Gambit could be a little tough call. That might be their final Pokemon. And I think we're going to see King Gambit fly out here. No, it's going to be Plusle. Plusle getting after it. So you're just going to sacrifice Plusle? Or just let it take some big time damage? That's fine. We're going to end up Blast, and We're going to get rid of Walking Wake. We're going to do not even half damage to this Plusle. But now with this as one plus boost, this Grimne plus boost... For special attack, we should be able to take out plus on no problem. So Calyrex gonna lose a little bit of HP. Um, I still have Lucario in the back end, which is good news for us. And I wonder if they go back into Cry on here. No, they're gonna go into King Gambit, who a little bit scarier on our end. Um, a bit hard swapping to Lucario because I think he's gonna go for a Sucker Punch more so than anything. I really just want to get out, like, Lucario here. Might just protect the horse and just... Swap into Lucario. That's what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm gonna do. I probably actually should've went for a Nasty Pot this turn. Because we know he's come, going, gonna go for Sucker Punch here. We know he wants to go for Sucker Punch, most likely. I'm going to swap my Tornadas. I'm going to save my Tornadas for later. Because Rain Dance could obviously come and clutch for us later in the game. They still have Coridon. And there's the Sucker Punch. So again, I could have went for Nasty Pot there. He's going to go for Nuzzle. So there's that. Um, do I hard swap Calyrex? And look to just close combat you? They already used Terra. So yeah, I'm just going to swap Calyrex. I think it's pretty free to swap it. I mean, it could go for Nasty Pot, obviously. Um, you think he's going for another Sucker Punch? I still have Terror, though. I do still have Terror. I'm just swapping to Shin Pao. I think they gotta go for another Sucker Punch here. Even though I'm plus one, I could have went for an Astro Rush. I think they, they gotta go for another Sucker Punch this turn. I think it's just... I think it has to happen. Protect, okay. You protect. Close Combat's gonna fire. Now, Plusle. You going for another Nuzzle here? That's kind of scary. Go for Endeavor. Okay, that's fine. So Endeavor flying. We're just gonna double down into the slot with Sacred Sword and... Close combat because there is a chance that we get paralyzed. Um, again, you don't have Terra anymore, which is good news. We still have our, we still have all of our Pokemon. Okay, so I really, really, like I said in the beginning, our our main threat is King Gambit. Our main threat is King Gambit, and as long as I can just land one of these fighting moves, we should be fine. I mean, they could nuzzle the Shen Pao, kind of making things a little, a little rough for us. But, with Calyrex in the back end, I think we should be fine here. We have Coridon really low on HP. I just need to get rid of King Gambit. And the thing is, if they swap King Gambit, we're gonna get rid of Coridon. So Coridon's gonna die out here. And honestly, Sacred Sword should go first. So if Sacred Sword KOs and Close Combat can slide over, I think we could just pick up the KO on both of them and wrap up this match. So bye bye Coridon, get it on out my face. Get it on out my face. Good swaps from us to just get rid of our, or pull back our Calyrex. And Close Combat's not going to find. This should finish off Puzzle here, right? 
Yep, critical hit. It, even without the crit, it was taken out. Stab. Choice at Bandit. Next to Shen Pao. Come on, man. And close combat space 120. We're KOing plus all day long. So that's pretty much just going to wrap up the match. Our Tailwind finally ends. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of speed now. But other than that, you, you don't have any double hitting moves. So we got this match pretty much unlocked. Any fighting move that we hit this thing with is going to drop out. So we're just going to click close combat again. And we're going to go into Sacred Sword. And I still have Focus Ash for Shen Pao. So, yep, battle is canceled. 1 0 to get things started with this Lucario squad. Everything worked out perfectly in match number one. We were swapping in and out. We got Lucario out there. Calyrex was doing some big time damage. And more importantly, we grabbed ourselves a win. But we're going up against a double weather team. Here. They got Karaidon, just like our last opponent. But on top of that, they got Pelipper. So they can go either go into Rain with Urshfu, or they can go into Sun with Fluttermane and Chiyu. A lot of different options they have here. But Tornado is going to be a great Pokemon for our lead nonetheless. So I am going to end up leading that Pokemon. I could end up leading Raging Bolt with it. And I like Raging Bolt here as well. So I think I'm going to go Tornadus. I think I'm going to go Raging Bolt. I think I got to bring Shadow Rider Calyrex. And last but not least, do we go Rillaboom? Or do we go like Shen Pao or Lucario? I think Shen Pao could be pretty solid, especially with Sucker Punch for first turn priority. That can work wonders. Um, Ice Spinner could be good. Or not Ice Spinner. Ice Silver Crash could be really good. I like that a lot. So I'm going to end up going into him. I like this lead for us. I like Raging Bolt with that booster energy special attack boost. We can always get speed control with Tailwind. We can always change up Sun if they want to lead Karaidon. So this is something I really like. I definitely really like. But they could go Fluttermane. They could go Fluttermane. Fluttermane could be booster energy as well, which is always tough to deal with, especially a Pokemon of that caliber with high special attack. That booster energy is its speed, making it faster than pretty much everybody. But they're going to end up going Karaidon and Chiyu. I'm just going to set the rain here. I'm just going to set the rain. You give me no reason not to set the rain. Give me no reason not to set the rain. So we're going to set the rain here. Um, I might even Terrasalize or Raging Bolt. I might even Terrasalize or Raging Bolt. I might even Terrasalize or Raging Bolt. So I'm going to do this. And on top of that, I think I am just going to Terra Electric. And then just go into a Thunderbolt. What's your speed, to be honest here? What is your speed, Rage Bolt? Are, would you, are you going to be faster than this Chiyu? You're not. We might want a Thunderclap here. Because, again, you could be going for Snarls, too. Which we really don't want. I'm going to go into Thunderclap here. I'm going to choose to go into Thunderclap. Because if anyone's swapping, it's going to be Chiyu, right? We'll see a Terra type pop out here. Turn one from Coridon. It's going to go straight into Electric. All right, we're not even touching that thing. Electric Karida. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Do you have an Electric move? That's the real question. But we're going for Thunderclap over into Chiyu, which could actually work really well for us. So we go Electric for Electric Terra. Um, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I don't really have any ground types, but I think we're cool with this. Because Rain Dance is going to fly here. We're going to stop all this nonsense that, that Karida has to offer. And Booster Energy is still going to pop for us, which is great. So we keep our Protosynthesis boost. And show me that we can just go into Thunderclap and just KO this thing. The Thunderclap is laying. Are you Sash or not Sash? Hopefully we can just take you out. We don't even bring you down to Sash. Real close, though. Heat Wave going to fly here. We're soaking that no problem. I was really worried about that thing going for Snarl. This thing's going to end up going for a Sword Stance, which we don't like. So a Sword Stance boost. Um, I think now we go for Tailwind and... I just go for Draco Meteor. We gotta get off some damage on the Coridon. We have to get off damage on this Coridon right now. We have to. So we got Chiyu, low HP. He's gonna withdraw it anyway. And who are you gonna go into? Maybe like Urshifu here? You're gonna go into Rillaboom, which is no big deal. As long as Coridon doesn't protect here. As long as Coridon doesn't, doesn't protect, we get off a big time Draco Meteor. Actually, you still might outspeed my guy right here. You still might outspeed my Raging Bolt, which could be tough news. No, you don't. Cool. So, Drake and Meteor are going to fly here. How much damage are we doing? A lot. That's a nice chunk of damage. Special attack going to drop. No big deal. He's just going to go for... Oh, it's Rain Punch. We don't like that. We do not like that. So, we could honestly save our... Uh, we could honestly save our Raging Bolt and just hard swap our... We could hard swap our... What's it called here? A Rage Bolt into Calyrex and read that they're going for probably another Drain Punch. And I think I am going to do that. I think I'm going to have to try to make a hard read here. We know they want to get HP back. 
We know they're going to be faking out somebody. But, I mean, going into this isn't bad. It's not bad for us at all. We can save our Thunderclap. So we have some priority. We can get at Calyrex. He's going to outspeed it and do monstrous amounts of damage. And get off of Liquid Storm at the same time. So going to the horse here. Hoping that Drain Punch or Fake Out is going after the slot. Hopefully both. That would be that'd be awesome. And you're going to Grass Glide instead, which is really tough. Really tough. Liquid Storm's going to land. It's going to do some nice damage. Can I get a speed drop? No speed drop. And as long as Crydon doesn't KO Calyrex, we should be sitting in a decent position. A very decent position. We go for another Sword Dance here. Another Sword Dance. So Grassy Glide is not going to KO us, which is actually good news for us. Um, this Crydon's looking terrifying, though. And I think just going for, like, a Bleak Wind Storm into a Astro Barrage is definitely in our best interest. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. That is exactly what I'm doing. I am scared that we might die out to Astro Barrage Life Orb damage and Grassy Glide. That could be scary. But he's going to end up going into Tornadoes, which is totally fine. So we get rid of Rollaboom here. We get rid of Rollaboom. So Rollaboom's going to be a goner. Hopefully Calyrex can just take it out, because I would love to get that plus one on that special special attack. But I don't think it can do enough damage to KO Rollaboom, and it doesn't. But Bleak Wind Storm will pick up the KO. So Coridon sitting here. Sword Stance plus four on attack. Ready to go. Um... How do we play this one? Do they have any first turn priority Pokemon? They could. If they have Urshifu. If they have Urshifu, they could have first turn priority. And if they have first turn priority, that... That could win the game. Because we need to get rid of this Coridon. It's gonna be Chiyu who they go into. I don't, I don't mind that. That works fine for us. That works wonders for us. We still should have one turn left in Tailwind, which we do, and I can just freely throw a Bleak Wind Storm. So Bleak Wind Storm gonna fly here, we're gonna go for another Astral Barrage and just send a Crydon's way. So we're gonna outspeed here. We're gonna KO Chiyu. This might even KO the Crydon, and if not, I think Bleak Wind Storm might be able to. And no, we pick up a double KO, so beautiful. Match number two, go into your boy. That Crydon was scaring me for a good bit. Especially if they would've brought in Urshifu. If they had first turn priority, we'd lose that game all day long. But I guess they didn't. I guess we'll see their final Pokemon. Who's your final Pokemon? If this is Urshifu and they didn't bring it out, that's just a mistake on their end. Let's see. Let's see. But now we got our Calyrex plus two. The rain's gonna stop. I'm surprised they never swapped Coridon, which makes sense why they didn't. They went. They want to go into Swords and just boost its attack that way. But the final Pokemon is gonna be Fluttermane. I mean, yeah, I understand why they didn't go into Fluttermane. Unless this thing's booster energy, it is booster energy. Um, you weren't outspeeding me regardless. Calyrex is just too fast, especially under Tailwind. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna go into an Astro Barrage, and that should be game. Yep, they cancel match. 2-0. and oh. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Looks like we're going up against a little off-meta restricted Pokemon in match number three. Necrozma. Really dope Pokemon. Really strong Pokemon as well. They got Incineroar. They got Pelipper. On top of that, they got Amoongus for support, Ndidi for support, and Urshfu. One of the best Pokemon in the game at the moment. But um, I want to use Shen Pao. I want to use Lucario here. I think leading them both could be good. Honestly, they could lead Incineroar. They could lead Incineroar. Maybe we just want to go Tornadus Raging Bolt. I think Tornadus Raging Bolt could be good for us. But again, Incineroar could just be a problem. Honestly, you know what? Never mind. We're going to go into Shen Pao, Lucario. I like that lead. I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. And last but not least, I like Raging Bolt here. I know they have Amoongus, but I mean Pelipper. Potentially Water Urshifu. I like Raging Bolt here. Yeah, Lucario, Shen Pao. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. We'd love to just do some more big time damage with Lucario. Considering it was killing it in match number two. But let's just see who they go, go into here. Again, as long as it's not Incineroar, Incineroar is just annoying. I mean, I do have inner focus on Lucaria, but taking that attack away from Shen Pao could be really tough. Could be really tough. So let's see, is it going to be Incineroar? It is. Oh man, we hate this. So Necrozma's chilling here on the field. Um, protecting Shen Pao might just be our play. Maybe just choosing the close combat could be really good for us. Necrozma looks dope though. I love Necrozma. I think it just looks so cool. So he intimidates my Shen Pao, no big deal. Um, you can't fake out my Lucario, so I'm thinking it's just protecting Shen Pao and just choosing into a close combat. 
And just looking to rip into this Incineroar. That's going to be my play. You could be Ghost Terror Incineroar, but I doubt you want to send your Terror onto your Incineroar right here. I doubt it, right? I could have close combat the Necrozma, but Necrozma's pretty bulky. We could see like a weakness policy play with Necrozma. I feel like a lot of Necrozmas run weakness policy. But yeah, we're just gonna protect Shen Pal this turn. Hopefully he's gonna try to fake out this slot. And he does. Beautiful. Awesome. So we can pretty much say bye bye to uh Incineroar here. Unless Necrozma is gonna KO my Lucario. And we're outspeeding it regardless. So bye bye. Incineroar. Dawn. Get it on out my face. We're done dealing with that. So Lucario picks up some big time damage. Picks up a KO to get things started. And let's see what Necrozma's trying to do here. Sunseal Strike. Double down to Shen Pao. We love it. We love when we protect and people double down. Nothing better. Nothing better than that. Nothing better than when you protect and they double down. So Shen Pao, big time protect there. Um, they're going to be forced to throw out Urshifu here, which is going to be Water Urshifu. Now, Lucario, how fast are you? Are you faster than that Urshifu? I don't think so, but you definitely are, Shen Pao. You definitely are. Um, I could go for a Sucker Punch here. Like to do some damage, but now might be a good time to just like swap. We go into Rage Bolt. Get our attack stat back. Yeah, I'm so with that. And then just going into close combat into the Urshifu slot. I'm cool with that. The cross was just so bulky. So we might end up losing Lucario depending on if Urshifu wants to attack it, but I feel like it should be attacking Shen Pao more so than anything. So we're gonna go into Rage of Bolt here. Gonna boost our energy up, and we can just pose that threat of thunderclap on the field now. Yep, there's Surge Strikes. Great read on our end. Great, wonderful read. Not just great, wonderful read. Amazing read on our end. Surge Strikes flying in that slot. Give my Lucario some more time. Lucario's just doing big time damage with the Choice Bane. The Raging Bolt able to soak no problem. Post combat's gonna fly. Our defense is super low right now, but dude, that damage is just absurd. That's not even next to Shen Pao. He's just hitting hard, man. He's just hitting hard, and Photon guys are going to come out here, and that's going to KO with Lucario. So, thanks for playing, Lucario. Thanks for getting off of that big-time damage. So now we don't have to worry about Incineroar. I could bring back out Shen Pao, or I could go into Calyrex at this point. I think going into Calyrex might be our play. Yeah, I think we have to go into Calyrex. Now, the thing is here... Um, we're super effective onto Necrozma. So I'm thinking Necrozma is going to want to Terrastalize here. And to be honest, I think Terrastalizing our Raging Bolt and going into uh, Thunderbolt over in that slot is in our best interest because we can Astro Barrage and outspeed everything. So it's going to be really good because we don't really have to worry about Urshfu or have to Thunderclap in the Urshfu because what's it going to do? Get off an Aqua Jet? I'm not too worried about that thing getting off an Aqua Jet. So if it wants to go for Aqua Jet, it can go for Aqua Jet. If it goes for anything else, we're just going to be able to KO with Astro Barrage, so. I like it. And they're going to withdraw anyway. That's fine. No Thunderclaps on our end. Not a single Thunderclap. We're going straight after this Necrozma. And indeed, he's going to fire. Actually, that's a that's a, that's a pretty solid swap. Indeed. But still, I don't mind this. We're still doubling down into this Necrozma, who's probably Terrastalizing. Who is probably Terrastalizing. So we still have Shen Pao in the back end, which is pretty good. We can't Sucker Punch, but again, speed's really high for him. Which is good news for us. And out comes that terror type from the Necrozma. Now, hopefully it's something where we can... Oh, it's dark. I was going to say, hopefully it's something that we can at least attack this, uh, this Necrozma with. But dark's going to neutralize a lot of the damage here. But again, this is why I want to go into Thunderbolt. Help us out a little bit. But I do have Draining Kiss as well. That could be good later. But who knows, this Thunderbolt might be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage on this thing. We're booster energy and special attack. Astro Barrage is going to fly here. Not affect the Ndidi. Do about negative 5 damage to this Necrozma. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We take a little bit of life orb damage. Knockoff's going to fly through here. And that's honestly going to KO my, uh, my Calyrex here. The Calyrex going to the knockoff. The Dark Terra knockoff. And Thunderbolt is going to go straight after this Necrozma. And how much damage is it going to do? I don't... I wouldn't be surprised to see his KO. I really hope his KO is. Rage Bolt hits hard. And it does KO. My boy, Rage Bolt. That's a big time KO. That's a big time. So we still have Shen Pao. We still have Focus Ash with Shen Pao. Correct? I don't think we took any damage Shen Pao. 
Yeah, no, we still have to focus Ash with Shen Pao. Um, we can't go for first-time priority moves, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, they could go for follow me. But I think just doubling down on Urshfu is probably your best bet, right? Could go for follow me. That's definitely an option. But yeah, we're just going to go into Thunderbolt. And on top of that, just Ice Super Crash. Just doubling down into Urshfu. Because you're not going to protect it. You're going to follow me over protecting Urshfu. I don't have to worry about really the text going on here. So we're either going to see follow me or your Urshfu is just going to die. And I think any of my Pokemon can 1v1 this Indeedy all day. Helping hand comes out here. Gen Pal, you outspeed. No, you outspeed. You might be choice. You might be. Definitely. You have to be choice. Helping hand. Surge Strike is going to pick up the KO. But... Again, this is why we want to double down into Urshfu. We knew it wasn't going to protect, if anything. And Thunderbolt's just going to finish it off. And again, my Rage Bolt can 1v1 this indeed all day long with Thunderbolt's Drake and Meteor. So, beautiful. That's going to be match number three. Looking perfect for us. Looking like a perfect record. Don't want to say it just yet because I jinxed myself multiple times in past videos. I'm always like, yep, yep, that's a perfect record. And then, obviously, we end up losing the match. But I'm just going to go into this Thunderbolt. Keep sending them his way and... Wouldn't be surprised to see him cancel, but they don't. This Thunderbolt should. I know your uh, special defense boosted, but yeah, it should do more than half. And second gonna fly here, which we soak all day. We soak all day long. Last Thunderbolt click. That's gonna be game, set, match. Thunderbolt's not gonna miss. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-0 perfect record. Rocking out with this Lucario team. I absolutely love it. This team was phenomenal. Who would have thought Lucario in ranked Regulation G picking up a 3-0 perfect record? This Pokemon was amazing, especially pairing it up next to Shen Pao, doing a ridiculous amount of damage with any move it touched, especially close combat. Stab, base 120, next to Shen Pao. Not much is surviving that, but Calyrex was also amazing, and the rest of the team was great. Raging Bolt, seeing top tier usage in Raging Bolt has just been phenomenal in Scarlet and Violet. I think this Pokemon is going to see a lot of usage, and down the road, if it's in future games, this Pokemon... Who would have thought Lucario a 3-0 perfect record in ranked regulation G. This Pokemon was phenomenal. Pairing it up next to Shen Pao, there was some big time damage with the choice ban. The rest of this team was great as well with Calyrex, Rillaboom, Tornadus, and Rage Bolt. And Rage Bolt has just been one of those Pokemon that have been dominant since it's been released into this game. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.